Steve. Last day of training today ahead of a, a visit of Ebb's fleet and a chance to build on an excellent recent run. Yeah, that's right. Um, great away win, another tough game, um, but we stuck to the task. We uh, we kept playing our way, uh, and you know the longer the game went on, we sort of dictated the pace of it a bit better and got got another really important win. But you know, straight on to the next game. So uh, dusted ourselves down and, and went again yesterday, trained and, and, and prepared for what's going to be another very tough game against a team who are very very hard to beat. Yeah, obviously going to the game top of the league, but is it important you sort of put that to the back of your minds and just concentrate on the game? Oh yeah, I mean it's it's very very early in the season, you know that. that it's nice to nice to be to look at the league and see that, but you know we know how much hard work's to be done. Um, so nobody's nobody's getting above themselves. It's um, it's a game that we you know that we we need to win. We've got we've got th three really tough games coming up um, in the league and uh, and a tough cup game. So we we know how hard it's going to be. Everybody's going to be needed. You know that it's going to it's going to test the whole squad, um, which is a good thing. You know we, we we've got. Uh, We've got a very good squad at the moment. We've got good lads to come off the bench, and we've got very good players not even on the bench. So, um, you know, everybody's going to be needed, and everybody's going to have to stick together to get to where we want to be. Quick word on Ebb's fleet. That's a good side, aren't they? Very good side. Very, as I said before, very hard to beat. I think they've got uh, a record of some, only one defeat in 30 odd, 37 games, something crazy like that. So, yeah, you know, they've had a lot of draws, but they are, you know, not many teams can beat them. Um, but we, you know, we're at home. We couldn't be any more confident. Um, the players are in good in good form uh, physically and mentally, so you know, for, from our point of view, we'll be looking to go and win the game. Yeah, physically, everyone looking okay. Excited tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, few few tired legs at the end of the game, but as you say, you know, you you, you look at the bench and it's strong, and you and, and you can always replace people who are, who have give everything. You know, that's what we say to the lads. You know, just give us everything. Don't leave every, don't leave anything out there. Uh, and if you and if you're absolutely shattered, come 70, 75 minutes. You know, we've got we've got people. Who can come in and do a great job as well? So, um, you know that, that was a message. That's been the message to the players last three or four games, and they, they have to give us everything. You know, Scotty Wilson's run himself into the ground from the last two games, and then you've got a fantastic replacement of coming off the bench to, to, to and it, which I thought he'd done great when he came on the other night, Ty. Obviously, you top of the league. How important is it the fans get behind you this Saturday? Well, it's it's always important. I mean, it's it's you know you, you can never. You never really put a price or a value on how, how important fans are, and they are. They're, 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 they can be the twelfth man. They can be a difference maker at times. Um, you know, there's no um, there's no league games this weekend. Uh, England aren't playing, um, and we've got a huge you know a huge catchment area. People uh, with a good chance. I think it's non-league day, so with a good chance to, to come and support you know support your local uh, your local team or your, or your nearest uh, your nearest professional team outside of the big city. So it's it's. It's a fantastic uh, chance for everybody to get behind us and it couldn't be a better time for it to come.